Hi everyone, the traveling salesman problem is having four cities. He has to start from the city A, then he, uh, and visit all the cities exactly only once. The given uh, city's distance is uh, considered as a edge in the given graph and cities are answered as your vertices. Now, all the cities are connected using the distance given here. Now, as per the traveling salesman problem, uh, the cities are considered as a n number of vertices 1 to n and the s is the notation indicates ordered set of vertices which is having partial path uh, that, will, that will be the integer value. Then sum of its edge weight is denoted as S equal to uh, S of now the number of vertices considered, then the I equal to 1, one to etc. until K number of vertices, then weight of each edge cost connecting these vertices. Now the weights are assigned to the W, that weight in the sense the edge cost between the two cities right so here the distance between the 1 comma 2 vertices and the distance between the 2 comma 3 city and distance between the 3 comma 4 until we are reaching finally the starting city n comma 1 so starting city is here 1 that's why again we have to reach the first city the here this variable best so yes in the sense which is giving best path so far among the n number of uh, uh, vertices, then here the vertices are given here, then this is representing the weight between the each and every city, right? Initially, we are taking uh, the vertex number, n number of vertex is the 1, then we are taking the initial vertex is 1, then distance between the uh, vertex A to A, that is the initial vertex, that is 0, there is no distance between the same city. So that's why we are making this is 0, then we are calling the searching function uh, method, which is taking the value, this one, vert number of vertex and initial vertex and distance between the initial vertex. So here the best path so far, so here we are passing these values. Now, once we uh, calling this function, the S is assigned to, this is uh, here having the, the initial uh, vertex and the distance between initial vertex and the number of vertices. So here k equal to 1 and here the it, it is also only one vertex and weight here it is here edge between the initial vertex is 0. Then here we are passing the how many number of vertices and the vertices numbers and total weight between this uh, each and every city. So here best path we are assigning, best path is here we are passing here. So best path is this value. So we are passing into this method, uh, this variable. So n number of vertices. So n number of vertices, this is the given list of vertices. So all the vertices we are con uh, considering as a best, vert best vertex. Then the uh, distance between the best vertices in the path, right? Then we are checking if this k equal to n, k equal to n, then we are updating the way, cost, okay, updating the cost. Suppose if you are having the, this is 2, k equal to 2 and n equal to 2, then from this we are having the weights. Initially it is 0, then now we are updating as 0 plus 5 okay so 0 plus this one 5 so 0 plus 5 is the new uh, cost that is the weight so weight initial weight which was initially which is taken as a 0 then 0 plus the from this vertex into the next vertex so that is here for example it is 5 okay so here if new weight is less than the already existing weight wb then we will update this weight. We will update this weight, right? So from the k number of nodes, the path between the uh, vertex i1 to ik, then new weight we have calculated here. Else, if it is not minimum, okay, less than, smaller than the best weight, then we have to check for all the j values not in this path. That means the vertices are not available in this path then we have to update that weight which is reaching from 
the ik this node this node to the uh, next vertex j so we have to keep on update that then we have we will assign that new weight here we are calculating the new weight this is the new path now this is the new path we got by calculating the new weight by considering the new cities in the path then that new city is assigned uh, to the again the next uh, fi next finding search searching the path again we are calling the recursive call this function again so again and again we will keep on do that until find the best path for example here you look at that uh, we have to try out with with number of possible solutions first we are taking the a then uh, b so edge cost between the a to b is uh, so 2 then next one is the c from the b we are moving into the c so this is 8 so 8 is taken then c to d so here c to d we are having the 1 so 1 is considered then d to a so d to a here we are having the 7 so 7 is considered so here we have the cycle from a to b then b to c then c to d then d to a again so in this path we are getting the cost is 18 units like that next possible solution is a to b b to d okay so this is the path next path b to d then d to c then uh, c to a so this cycle okay so we are having the cycle like this a b c d okay so in this path we are getting the 11 is the optimal cost like that we have to try out all the possible solutions finally you look at that we are having the a to d right this one a uh, 7 then d to c d to c is the 1 c to b uh, c to b is here 8 then b to a is 2 so here we are getting the values uh, 18 so here you look at that this is need of n minus 1 factorial values okay n minus 1 factorial permutations right so here based upon this we will get number of paths are 6 here the n is the 4 4 minus 1 factorial here is 6 so 3 factorial is 6 so we, we got 6 possible solutions among the 6 possible solutions you look at that uh, solutions are repeated okay three solutions are repeated so three solutions uh, is enough to find that's why we can make this as a order of n minus 1 factorial divided by 2 so we can find the n minus 1 factorial that is the uh, here uh, 3 mi uh, 4 minus 1 factorial we, are, we got here 6 so 6 by 2 so 3 possible paths are enough to find out the best solution which is provide you the uh, minimum cost to travel all the cities so this is the time complexity of the traveling salesman problem uh, given here so this can be constructed by using the a recursive tree so we are uh, making that a uh, k value into like this so n will be given like this so n minus 1 okay then n minus 2 so it will keep on come until n minus n okay n minus n so there is the 0 right so here the all the uh, process will be taken as a parallel process so here uh, the load balance will be perfect right Thanks for watching.